name is Alicia Leidecker. I'm Gameplay AI Lead Programmer here at Ubisoft Montreal. And today we are here at the De Gaspe building, one of the Ubisoft Montreal uh, sites. Gameplay is normally everything that's control related. So when you, the player, you have the controller in your hand, this is really the gameplay side of things. AI is really much more what the world is. We want to make it so that when you as a player do something, you see the world and all of these characters that they react back to you. And then you go, oh wow, like I really feel very immersed in that world. I think I was really like a lot of kids where when you're in high school, you don't know what you want to do with your life. I had remembered I had seen the movie Hackers and I totally connected with Angelina Jolie and I remember thinking I would love to be like that girl hacker programmer. So I signed up for computer science, started working full time at 18 as a programmer. And I did that for a few years. I did web development and software development, but I was bored. So I decided to go back to school and I did this amazing program at Concordia University called Computation Arts, where it's really half computer science and half fine arts. I was really lucky because I think because I had this technical program, but I was really interested in the arts, Ubisoft came across my profile and they approached me. I really feel games is that perfect hub of having a very technical, logical side and also having a very creative, design-oriented side. Thinking like an artist, thinking like a level designer, thinking like a creative director, this is a huge part to me of what being a really great gameplay programmer is. I started working on Assassin's Creed on the second installment of the games. And I would say really working on the Assassin's Creed franchise is what has kick-started my career. Assassin's Creed is a historical action adventure game where you're playing through the memories of an ancestor. And when I started on the Assassin's Creed franchise, I got to work on some of the most iconic aspects of the game. One of the bits that I really love with working in the games industry is it's very flexible, our schedules. I mean, in my case, I am not a morning person. <laughs> so I get here normally around 9.30 or 10. Being a lead programmer, I spend a lot of time with my creative director and my game director, and it's basically us three as like this dynamic trio of figuring out what do we need for the game. We play the game every day, we give feedback. My day-to-day -day schedule really differs from what part of production I'm at. Uh, so for example, if I'm working in conception, which is really the early on stages of developing a game, I'm kind of in this room with like the programmers, the artists, the designers, and we're brainstorming. If I'm more in production, at that point, it's much more structured. It's kind of this loop of spend some time with the designers figuring out what do we want to do, spend some time with the animators where we're kind of up and acting <laughs> at our desk trying to figure out, oh, is this the best move or is that the best move? And then we spend time where it's back at my computer and programming it. To me, diversity is a really big aspect of wanting to put together a team uh, because, in my opinion, diverse teams really leads to innovation and a bunch of new ideas. So I'm also involved with lots of diversity initiatives around Montreal. There's a few all-girls schools that I've gotten to go to, and I remember at the end I had asked, so who here is actually interested in working in tech? And I was shocked when the whole audience, like 300 young girls, all put up their hands and they're like, we want to be a programmer one day. So I'm definitely seeing a change. And I think the more that we get inspiring women to be out there talking about technology, talking about video games, it's going to inspire more and more the, the youth and leaders of tomorrow. Video games can be used to tell a story. Video games can be used for really wanting to make a change in life. <laughs>